Turn now, uh, after New York City's coldest night of the year, Mayor Eric Adams spent that night warming up with hundreds of migrants and asylum seekers in an unannounced visit to their temporary home inside the Brooklyn Cruise Terminal. A video captured the mayor playing a World Cup soccer video with one of the men as others cheered during his overnight show of support for the recently relocated migrants. We're going to stay the night with our brothers here and just let them know that we're all in this together. This is how you get through things. The mayor arrived around 11 on Friday night, slept on a cot alongside the migrants, ate breakfast with them, and left around 9 a.m. And Mayor Adams joins us now. Uh, mayor, thank you so much for joining us this morning. What was the message you were hoping to send uh, by, by spending the night with the migrants in your city? It was, it was a reflection of how people were there for my family. As a child, uh, we moved from location to location. We slept on the floors of our relatives and loved ones until mommy was able to stabilize the family. And it also shows just the real impact of the uncertainty of housing and security. And I wanted to go there and show that the coldest night of the year, and you know what, baby, it was cold out. And, <laughs> you know, yeah. we, we had a warm place for them. Uh, we were able to talk throughout the night. We were able to get up early in the morning, have breakfast, and hear from them. And they are thankful. They're pursuing the American dream. They understood we had to move them from the hotel after opening 81 hotels because children and families should be in hotels and they mm -hmm. were extremely appreciative of the city yeah what did tell me more about what what they shared with you about their their stories their journeys and I mean given uh, the difficulty really finding uh, a shelter for the migrants many of whom were flown in uh, to New York to prove a point I guess um, what were they saying to you and, you know, that's a great question because there's really a, I believe, a documentary, a book, uh, a, a lesson for our young people. Uh, number one, uh, think about it. January 1st, 2022, we had approximately 45,000 people in our shelter system. In one year, we received an additional 40. 3,000 people in one year. And so we had to find housing for them, food, health care, educate the children. And when they spoke with me, they all said the same thing. We want to work. We want to be part of this American experience. And they want to learn English. So we're going to incorporate while they're there uh, English lessons. And they want to make sure to say to the American people, thank you. And you know, people want to give the impression that some agitators wanted to create an environment that these men did not understand the role they had to play, but they were very much part of how we shifted from the hotel to uh, the current location at the Herc.